Hi and welcome to another edition of Brown's Bricks Builds. Um, we've just come back from a shopping spree and we managed to come across some Series 1 Simpsons blind bags which of course are now quite a long time retired. Uh, we still needed a few so I'm ably assisted by uh, my daughter Poppy who's going to help me out. She's left hander and she's only little so please bear with us. Uh, we've got about 10 bags I think. We still need Mr Burns, we still need Pitchy and or Scratchy. Um, we still need a few others, so let's see who's in the first bag. Um, like I said, he's left handed, so it's a coffee bit of time. Who have we got first? Oh, blue trousers, is it Bart? Is it? Oh, no, it's Itchy, is it? I think Itchy the mouse and Scratchy the cat. Um, just a four piece in this one. It's the best thing about these Simpsons, where of course that they've all got molded heads. They're not the yellow, even though the Simpsons are yellow, they're not yellow like the Lego that you would expect. Um, Itchy the mouse, I believe, with a, a club to bash Scratchy's head in. Um, quite a good figure really, I quite like them because they are, have got the mini legs, they've got the short legs. Um, and let's see who we get in the next one, so that's a good start. Uh, as I say, these retail still at 250 and next one is a duplicate straight away, that's a good sign isn't it? Um, and that again is uh, itchy and again three piece but saying that the moulding on his jacket and the moulding of the head does make him a valuable piece uh, not many of them about and of course once you're looking at the Simpsons there is a dual market in these these sell really well on places like eBay and that so I'm not sure I'm always a bit loath to sell me duplicates but uh, needs must and I may well end up with a few of these on eBay but let's have a look okay so Poppy will you move on it's into our third bag she's doing a good job she's got better nails than me um, and like I say left handed even left handed scissors don't help do they and who's the next one? Oh, this is a good one we've already got this one ourselves in our, our collection but Krusty the Clown I particularly like um, love the pink shirt with the yellow arms and the white gloves and the white face of course which is uh, crusty to a T but most importantly I think I like the moulding on that head just take a look at that it's absolutely perfect rendition of him from the cartoon that uh, they are tricky to put on the pies I think I might have to stop the video in a minute and help her put the pie on because she is struggling um, Justin over here yeah, there we go so we're back the pie is now in place and crusty is there perhaps if you do the fourth one Um, just be careful not to cut through the um, instruction bag as well in the, inside the bag. Um, I was very fortunate because the independent shop that I bought these from has also given me a huge display pack, which I may well review for you at a later date. Brilliant shopping at independent toy shops. Oh, this is a good one. So this is uh, Scratchy, I believe, the cat. This has got a moulded, one of the first ones to have a moulded tailpiece. Um, which wasn't like the skirts wasn't fabric again brilliantly molded head absolutely perfect detail and using um, the axe from a couple of minifigures ago with the lumberjack one um, but the facial expression on, on Scratchy is brilliant absolutely spot on I've got them to a T and that's what I loved about this series was the that they looked so much like the characters second series were the same but I think Homer and Marge in the second series didn't need to exist Neither did Maggie or Lisa actually. Um, oh, these are a good one. It's little baby Maggie. She's only a three piece with that lovely teddy bear. Um, Bobo, is it? From uh, one of the Simpsons episodes, the Rosebud episode. Um, again, Maggie was a good one, but, but the second series Maggie was almost identical. You just got Santa's little helper with it, and that was, I felt, was a bit of a disappointment. I can understand why they did it, because for people who didn't get the first set, but. The second set I felt was a bit disappointing and the sales reflected that as well, I think. Okay, so we're not doing too bad. One duplicate out of uh, five. Halfway there. Let's have a look at who we get next. And I believe we have another scratchy. So too itchy, too scratchy. Again, I'm not that bothered about that. There's good saleability in, in selling them as a pair on eBay. People will enjoy the fact that you've got itchy and scratchy. Again, that beautiful moulded tail. Uh, moulded chest bit, torso, and that fantastic head. Well done, Pops, you're doing a good job. A little bit of um, 
of help with the, the hands maybe, but um, you are doing a fantastic job. Here's me stuck behind the camera just filming. Brilliant. So, there you have, you've got your uh, two itchies, two scratchies, a crusty and a baby Maggie. Let's see who's in the next one. This is our sixth bag. Thanks, Pat. Okay, that looks like the body of Grandpa to me. Uh, we, again, have Grandpa in our collection already. Normal grey slacks, as his uh, bottom half is torso. Brilliantly uh, crafted Grandpa Simpson torso with that um, string tie and um, the newspaper one-by-one -one plate. Brilliant. Okay, I do like Grandpa. Though. Moving on to the next bag, Pops. Quicker than I can talk now. Um, the good thing about all of these is just how much they look like the characters. You can really do some nice dioramas with them. Okay, and this one. Oh, that's great. This is one we haven't got in our original collection. Uh, this is Mr. Burns. <coughs> Excuse me. Mr. Burns, again, had a one-off uh, tailored suit, torso, um, a moulded head. All the Simpsons characters with his moulded head. He has the... Uh, three-eyed goldfish in a bowl and he has the inanimate carbon rod I believe from when Homer goes into space uh, an absolutely brilliant figure that one I've wanted that for ages just pop it in pops there you go see she's perfecting the art she does struggle but at least she hasn't got shaky hands like me okay we're down to our last two still hoping on a Chief Wigan or a Nelson those are the two we still need um, not holding much hope to be honest. Who have we got here? We have oh, we've got a Lisa again. Maggie and Lisa always nice to uh, thinking of reselling. Poppy struggled to put the skirt on, so I had to uh, re-edit the video. I do apologise. And uh, Lisa again, just like Maggie, brilliant uh, moulding of the head, lovely orange dress, and his saxophone that we don't see so often in the shows anymore, but. Let's see. So moving on to our final bag. Poppy tells me that she thinks this might be Marge because she can feel her hair. So let's have a look. Is she right? She certainly is. This is Marge from the first series in the green dress. Again, she needed a bit of help doing the paper dresses. Um, brilliant figure again, just like Mr. Burns. Is that head piece is phenomenal. And as well as that with Marge, you get two extra pieces. You get the pink handbag and you get the box of donuts. Uh, pink handbag, almost identical to the one that you get with Patty and or Selma in series two. I can't remember which one it is, but cracking setup that. And really, I'm not that disappointed with that. We were waiting on two. We haven't got them two in these ten. Might have to go and buy some more. How terrible would that be? Uh, so there we have it. There's ten with um, two duplicates in, an itchy and a scratchy. We've got itchy. We've got. Um, Krusty the Clown, we've got Scratchy, Grandpa and Maggie, and we've got Mr Burns, Lisa and Marge. Uh, all in all, a good bye. Thanks for watching and leave a comment or two.